Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Jennifer Marie, where I teach you different ways to become a work from home freelancer. Today is a quick tutorial showing you how you can accept job offers and view any job offers that you have been sent in Upwork. If you're not familiar with Upwork, I have a bunch of tutorials on it. It's a great platform for finding and applying to freelance remote jobs. And there are thousands of jobs that you can search for. But in this tutorial, we're focusing on how to accept job offers and how to view any job offers that you have been sent. So first of all, there are different ways that someone can send you a job offer. Oftentimes you will apply to a job and to apply to a job, we call that submitting a proposal. So you'd click on a job ad, then click apply now, and you would submit a proposal, which is basically your application for this job. After this, you may discuss a price with the client and then they can send you a job offer if they're interested in hiring you. You may also receive an invitation to interview and that does not mean you have the job. It just means that the client wants you to apply to their job and discuss potentially working together on the project. And sometimes you will just be sent a job offer because someone has seen your profile and they like your work. For example, sometimes a client may see my voiceover demo and they want my voice for their project. So they immediately send me a job offer. To view job offers, you're going to go to find work and you're going to click on proposals and offers. And here you can see any active offers. So under offer, these are offers sent from clients, invitation to interview, clients may contact you first about a job posting. Then we have active proposals. These are proposals that you are discussing with a client and then submitted proposals. These are proposals you sent which have not yet received a reply. So you only have a job and should only start working on a job once you have accepted an offer in this active section. So I'm going to go ahead and right click to open this offer in a new tab. Now this client is a client I've worked with previously so they are just sending me an updated offer. You will also see information under messages so under messages, you'll see information about the client on the side here. And what you can do is you can click on client profile and that will show you more information about the client. So you want to make sure that the client is payment method verified. And you can also see if they have hired anyone in the past. And this just gives you some history on the client. So you can see in the messaging system here, I have an offer, but I can also just click on view offer and it's a fixed price offer. So there are different types of jobs. We have hourly rate jobs and fixed price jobs. With hourly rate jobs, you charge the client based on hour of work and you have to use the time tracker app to track your hours so the client knows you're actually working on the designated project. I have a tutorial on that, but we're going to talk about accepting fixed price offers right now. So what that means is that the client is going to pay in advance. You will not receive the money in advance, but it goes into escrow. So basically if the client is saying, hey, I'll pay you $75 to do this, Upwork is going to take a 10% service fee. So then I will be expected to receive 67.50. So it's up for me if I want to accept this or not. So you can see a little bit more information about the offer. I'm going to click here on see full offer. Here you can see milestones. Now, a milestone means if it's a really big project, you might get paid in parts. For example, let's say you're editing a large video and let's say they pay you a certain amount for the first draft and then another amount for the final draft. But a lot of times people just put one fixed price for the entire job and in one milestone. So in this case, it's just $75 for one milestone, which is the project itself. Here you can see some more contract details. You can see the offer date when it was sent and the offer expiry date. Now make sure to accept an offer as soon as possible because this doesn't mean you have until September 19th to accept it because the client can cancel it. So if they need you to do a job and they're not hearing back from you quickly, they might cancel the offer and hire someone else. So if you want to do the job, make sure to accept as quickly as possible. Here they give you a little bit more information about fixed price contracts. So when you do a job like this, once you have completed the job, the client has to release the money in escrow to you and funds in escrow cannot be returned to the client until the contract is complete and you agree to the refund or you go through dispute resolution. So that means if you complete the job, the client does have to pay you. And if there are any issues, Upwork is there to protect your payment basically. So now let's accept our offer. I'm just going to click here on accept offer. And you can write a message to the client if you want, 
or just click here on accept offer. So now you'll be able to view any jobs you're working on if you hover your mouse over deliver work and click on your active contracts. And this brings you to the My Jobs page. So you can see any hourly contracts you're working on, any active milestones you're working on, and this is the offer that I just accepted. So what I would do is in the messaging, message the client if you haven't already and just let them know that you've accepted the job. You could ask them any questions you need or you could even message them before you accept if you want a bit more clarification about the job. Once you're finished, you can click on submit work for payment. And then what you would do is you can attach the file that you've worked on and basically request for them to release this amount. And under this section, you can also see a bit more information. You can see any messages shared between you and the client. You can see the contract details. And if for whatever reason you were not able to do this job and you need to cancel the contract, maybe you didn't quite understand what you were signing up for, what you can do is click on the contract, then click on these three icons here and you can select end contract and that will allow you to cancel it basically. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and it helped you understand a little bit more about how offers work on Upwork. If you want any more tutorials related to Upwork or you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comment section below. And you can also check out my full Upwork playlist, which I've linked you to in the description below and in the pinned comment. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in my next tutorial.